What's up everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to build your website on nicepage.com. Nicepage is a great platform you can use to build your website. It has lots of great features and tools that you can use to build a great website that is customized for you. And whether you are a beginner or an advanced or a like a master uh, website builder, you can find something that suits you and you'll find the tools that will that you can use to build you a great website on Nicepage. So first of all, you need to go to nicepage.com here. That's the website. And that's the page that will open. Here you can find like, if you scroll down, you can find like an overview of the platform and its features here. And if you scroll up, you can find like uh, the download. So you can download the agent. You can find the features, templates, and the website builder. And you can find here the premium option. So they have a paid plan or paid plans or premium option. If I click on it to view like the pricing, you have the starter plans, which is free for individuals. However, it is limited to uh, like two sites and five pages. However, if you want to spend a little bit more, you have the personal plan, the business, and the pro plan each with their price and their features. As you can see here, the pro plan has all the features and that's the most expensive plan on NicePage. So it's good to know that you can subscribe to a paid plan if you want more advanced features. However, I will start for this video with the startup plan. So uh, here you can sign in if you already have an account or click on register to create your account. So I'm gonna click on register. So here, you can sign up with Google or Facebook or enter your email and password and then sign up. So I'll go ahead and enter my email and password to create my account. So here it gives you the option to download the desktop application for uh, the nice page. So the nice page application, you can download it for Windows or Mac OS, depending on the software on your computer. And you can also run it online. So you can run the online builder here, no need to install it. And you can get uh, the plugin for services like WordPress and Joomla. So for this video, I'm going to use the online builder. Click on run online builder here. And now once you uh, click on the online builder to run the online builder, it'll take a moment depending on your internet connection speed. And finally, it will open this page here. So that's your main dashboard. So you can uh, edit and create your website here. And it gives you like a quick tutorial or quick tips on how to start. So you can click here on start this arrow. It says that this blue arrow will be your assistant. So let's start here. Okay. Click on start. And then here you can view your pages. So you know that a website consists of pages. So like the home page, the contact us, the products page, the about page, or any uh, pages that you want on your website. So you can open the list of pages from here. If you click on this icon, you have like a sample website here uh, with the home page and about page and contact page. You can add a new page here if you click on add page. You can start, click here to start with a new blank page and create the page from scratch and add your elements, your text elements, your photos, videos, and so on. Or you can choose like uh, here a ready to use template from uh, the templates list here. So here it says like uh, to click on start with blank page. So I'll go ahead and do this. And once you do, it'll open like the page here. It, uh, its name is page one for now. You can change it later. I'll show you how. And here uh, you can edit the site header, the page header or the site header. And uh, you can click here to select it as an element. And you can edit, of course, the menu here. That's the menu that has all the pages for your uh, website. So if I click on it, I can choose it here and edit it as you have here the edit button. I'll show you that in a moment. And you can add blocks such as like footers and text videos and images and so on. So if I click to add a new block here, I can add a, te a text on an image. So a background image with a text on it or a slider, an image slider. So like a slideshow of images a text split with images and text. So here you have like a visual, a, a thumbnail or an icon with a visual representation of what you will get with this option. So here let's click on text on image. And you have many 
uh, templates to choose from however notice that some are like premium for premium users or for paid plan only so as a starter user or as a free user you cannot choose them so um, you can choose any of them let's choose this one as it indicates however you can just click on any of them okay um, here we added a block and we can edit it later okay we can add here like a new block and here we can add like a blank block to uh, edit okay so let's click on it now we added the block however it's empty we can click on the plus icon here on the block itself to add elements to it like text images videos and so on so let's click on the plus icon here and the, the plus icon here is the same as here so you can click on the plus icon here from the tab on the left where you can get all the blocks or all the elements that you can add so like you can add a page you can add a block you can add text you can add a button you can add image you can add a box you can add a grid so for this uh, let's go with the instructions and add a grid so we can add a grid of two here columns okay so we divided here the element the block that we added okay and in each uh, cell in each grid cell we can also click on the plus here to add an, uh, an element so here it says to add an image so we can add an image here okay image we can add from uh, like we have here free images so like copyright free images and you can upload your images and drop them from any uh, service like Dropbox and Google Drive and so on and you can also get images from nice web and you can add an image from the web from the link so we'll click here on this sample image just to get started and you can resize the image click on it to uh, resize it and like position it and you get like these indicators to better position your image and you can click on the expand icon here to expand it to fill in all the size of the cell we can click on the plus icon in the other cell to add like other elements so uh, we can add a text here and here you have like the text uh, elements you have many sizes for headings and you have like normal text you have a quote you have uh, a text for uh, with the icon and you have a phone number or a bullet icon or a list and so on so you can choose the format that you want let's choose this one the heading 2 and we can also click on the plus icon here as i told you to add new elements so uh, let's add another text element this time we'll add a normal text so a small text underneath the headline or the heading and we can align here you can when you choose an element you get the options here on the right so the alignment option uh, and so on so we can align them or align the element here to uh, the uh, the center okay and here you can view this the different views so here i have the my site and the desktop view i can view it on a laptop on a tablet on a mobile phone in portrait and landscape here so let's view how it looks on a mobile phone in uh, like portrait view and here uh, as you can see here uh, the cells are now uh, vertical instead of horizontal on the uh, desktop version and that makes sense to fit in uh, on a mobile screen and here we can uh, choose on the page here we have all the elements on the page here on the left and we can choose any of them to edit it so here we have like the text on a photo and we can choose the two cells here that we added and here once uh, we are finished with the website we can click here to publish it so let's do this and here we can like publish it uh, uh, online and we can add HTML on WordPress, Joomla and so on. And we can save it as a project. Okay. Okay. Now the tutorial ended and all the elements that we added are now gone since they were just like we were learning. So let's add a new element to our page or a new block to our page. So here, uh, okay. It says that we can choose between light mode and dark mode. So for me, I'll choose dark mode since it's easier on my eyes. I'll continue. And that's a great option to have on your website. So let's add a block here. We have, we can add like, uh, a page uh, design. So we can choose like a template, a ready-made template for the page and we can edit it or we can add like, uh, a ready page so a home page a landing page a portfolio team and so on 
and here we can view blocks so let's add like a split here a split is like uh, half and half so we can uh, set each half as we want to so let's add this one and if we click here on the image we can click to change the image as I told you we can upload our own image or choose from like ready-made copyright free images so let's choose this one for example okay we can choose the resolution uh, okay uh, let's go with medium okay and apply Okay, it's loading the image now and here the image is loaded so if we go here to the sample headline or sample heading we can highlight the text here to edit it so like uh, hello and we can edit each text and each button here and we can go to the style we can change it and we can change the font and we can make it bold italic and change also the color so let's change the color quickly to like uh, a red color okay and if we scroll up here, we can uh, like rename the page. So let's click here on uh, page one. Okay, that's uh, double click on it. Now let's change the name here. Let's name it like uh, a blog page. Okay, done. Okay, done here. okay now it's changed and if we go to the home page we can go to any page here from the pages uh, menu we can go to home page okay click on it and we have here the home page and we can add like a logo on the header we can add elements as you told, as you saw and we can add like model pop-ups and site colors and fonts we can edit them and once you are ready to publish you can view your websites on different uh, like views here and once you are ready to publish just click on publish and then go live it'll give you like the URL here so your website and for pro users they can enter their own domain then click on publish live and your site will go online so that's how easy and intuitive it is to use nice page in order to build your websites